Hi everyone, it's me, Madam Pamita. You can find me at parlorwonders.com and I'm here with my book, The Book of Candle Magic, to share with you a, some, a sex, little, a little bite-sized nugget from this book um, that will be helpful to you. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the beginning of candle reading. Candle reading. Oops, there it is over there. Candle reading. Um, so I'm going to share with you a little bit, a little overview of candle reading from my book, chapter 11. Uh, candle reading, assessing and reading the flame, the wax, and the smoke of a candle as it is burning and after it is finished, is an advanced skill. It is true communication with both the spirit of fire and your spirit guides. The feedback that the candle reading gives you is valuable information and learning how to read a candle can tell you what you need to know to achieve your magical goals. Seeing where your spell is going or what's going on behind the scenes of your intentional work can help you anticipate if you need to do any additional spiritual or material world action or give you a hit on where things stand. The three branches of candle reading are called seromancy, which is wax reading, pyromancy, flame reading, and capnomancy, which is smoke reading. You're not required to master these skills to do a spell, but learning to do this interpretive work will enhance your magical ability. One of the advantages to paying attention to your candle as it's burning is that you can head off any potential problems and effectively alter the direction of your magic. Because your candle is still burning, you have the opportunity to work the spell if something is going in a direction that you don't like. Candle flames that go out, flames that burn out of control, wax that spills over the sides of a tray, all of these can give you information about what's going on while your spell is in motion. For example, if you're doing a love spell and you are seeing signs that indicate that your love will take some time to get going, then you can work the candle to give the situation some movement or do some additional magical work to help the situation along. Some people ask me if they have to watch the candle continually while it's burning. Unless you have unlimited time and a meditative nature, it's really not necessary to watch a candle the whole time it's burning. But you do want to keep an eye on it. Ask any experienced candle burning spellcaster and they will tell you stories of trays cracking, glass candle holders exploding, and things catching on fire. Keep yourself, your loved ones, and your property safe by keeping a burning candle within eyesight. Now, working a candle while it's burning is a somewhat controversial approach in the magical community. There are many people who believe that once the candle is lit, that you have to let it do what it's going to do and not interfere with it. In their opinion, if a candle goes out, well, it's a sign that you don't get what you want. However, I believe in spell work with an emphasis on the work. To me, this is logical. Magic is shifting or changing something to your will. If that's the case, why would you allow the candle to take control of your destiny? You are the one setting the course. You are the captain of your magical ship. So if a candle does one of odd things, some odd thing, take note of what it means, but feel free to correct the course of your journey. It's also great to read the wax after your candle has completed burning. One of the wonderful things about a candle spell is that it can give you feedback from the spirit realm as to what to expect from your working. The primary ways to interpret a candle once it's finished, once a spell is finished, are to read the candle wax remains and to read soot or smoke on a glass encased candle. So there you have it. And then I go into all the ways how to interpret it, how to, read. It's, a, it's a great section and it's a fun section because you get to learn how to do a candle reading in that section. So there you have it candle reading from the book of candle magic by madam pamita available at your local mom and pop bookstore at your local mom and pop spiritual store at parlorofwonders.com where you can get a signed copy and of course all the usual places where you get books well thanks so much for um, letting me share this with you and i'll be back next week with another excerpt from the book of candle magic i hope you'll join me see you then bye